Algebra 2, Lesson 10, Pythagorean Theorem. Alright, we're just going to go straight into the examples. Um, example A and B use Pythagorean Theorem to find the distance of one missing side, and then use it to find the distance between two points on a graph. So, over here, got those problems copied over. Pythagorean Theorem is A squared plus B squared equals C squared. The thing that you need to remember is that C, or the hypotenuse, is always, always, always going to be opposite of, or the outfield of the baseball diamond. If you think of this as a baseball diamond, the square is home plate, or the 90 degree angle is home plate, the outfield is always the hypotenuse, or is always C. So when we plug this information in, we've got A squared is unknown, B squared is 5, and that's going to equal C squared, which is 9. So to solve this equation, we've got a squared plus 25 equals 81. <coughs> we want to subtract 25 from each side. So then we get a squared is equal to, ooh, what is this? 6, 5, 56. So a squared equals 56 uh, to find a the square root each side. And then to find the square root of 56, we'll go ahead and factor that. That is 7 times 8. 8 will factor into 2 and 4. 4 factors into 2 and 2. So we've got a set of pairs, so 2 and 2 will become a whole number. Uh, and then we get 2 times the square root of 14, because this 7 and 2 get trapped inside the radical. So a is going to equal 2 root 14. If you can't remember how to factor, go ahead and write square root of 56, but you can't do that forever because we do have to learn how to factor these radicals eventually. You know what, actually, I'm sorry, I just checked the answer book for now. In this part of the school year, we're just going to be leaving it square root of 56. Uh, eventually, we'll start factoring in numbers like this, but for now, square root of 56 is okay. Uh, moving on to problem B. So they give us two points on a coordinate plane. They give us the point 5 comma 3, negative 2 comma negative 3. They want us to find the distance between the two points. So first we have to start by graphing those two points. Uh, we'll start with 5 comma 3. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then 1, 2, 3. So that's our first point. Our second point, negative 2, negative 3. Negative 1, negative 2. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. Oop, that was a little far. Yeah, make that one 4. So that is our second point. And what we need to find is the distance, or this length, right here. So how can we find that length? Well, if we think of it as being a right triangle, like this, and we finish drawing that right triangle, we can figure out the length of this side and this side using our coordinates. Uh, so we'll count. From here we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 spaces. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 spaces, so this bottom half is 7. Uh, from here, this side, we count up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 spaces, so this side is 5. We just have to figure out what our hypotenuse is now. Since this is the 90 degree angle, that is C, so then we can write, over here using Pythagorean theorem, 7 squared plus 5 squared equals C squared. That simplifies to 49 plus 25 equals C squared. 49 plus 25 becomes 74. Is that right? 460, uh, 14, yeah, 74. So 74 equals C squared. Find the square root. So the answer is going to be square root of 74. And then remember later on in the school year, we'll have to simplify this through factoring. That'd be <coughs> um, 2 and 37. I believe 37 is a prime number. Okay, never mind.
he would just stay square root of 74.